thank you all for being here. Uh, my name is Nate Glubish. I'm the Minister of Technology and Innovation, and I'm really excited to share with you some of the work that we've been up to at the Government of Alberta. Every day, Albertans interact with government services. Every day, patients see a doctor or a nurse or a specialist. Every day, Albertans visit motor vehicle registries to register a vehicle, renew a driver's license, or book a driver's exam. And every day, Albertans rely on the land titles registry when they buy or sell a house. And every one of these interactions results in the creation of a record. Whether it be a paper record or a digital file, a record is kept. Another word for these records is data. And this data is essential for the delivery of services. Without data, physicians wouldn't know a patient's medical history to inform a diagnosis. Without that data, Albertans couldn't purchase a home with the confidence of knowing that the title is free and clear of all encumbrances. And without that data, a driver would not be able to secure a loan for the purchase of their next car. The things we take for granted in our daily lives are dependent on these data being kept. And the government of Alberta is the steward of this data on behalf of all Albertans. My job is to make sure that this data is accurate, protected, and used for legitimate purposes for the benefit of all Albertans. Well, Albertans have told me how important this is to them, and so over the next 18 months, I will be launching a series of initiatives to enhance transparency and to strengthen privacy protections for Albertans. In fact, Alberta will be a national leader in this regard, and when these initiatives are complete, we will have the strongest privacy protections in Canada and the strongest penalties for violating these protections. As we aim to establish Alberta at the forefront of responsible governance by establishing strong foundations of privacy by design principles, today we launch our first initiative. And that is to launch the data ethics framework and the privacy management framework. These frameworks are a signal that Alberta's government is doubling down on our commitment to Albertans' right to privacy. These frameworks complement and build on our existing privacy legislation, and they are designed to give Albertans more confidence and trust in how their government manages and uses data, a critical element to the Alberta government's work to modernize how we deliver services. One of my top priorities is modernizing our privacy legislation, and I want Albertans to have confidence that their personal information will be protected and there will be no unauthorized access of government data. And that is why in addition to launching these frameworks today, I will be in the months ahead proposing legislative amendments to bring in the strictest and most severe penalties for violating our privacy protections. Furthermore, my department, my ministry, Tech and Innovation, we will be developing a user portal where Albertans can log in online to see who is accessing their information and why. Furthermore, we will build a function into this portal to allow for Albertans to file immediately a complaint in this portal if they believe their information has been used illegitimately. This is critically important to building trust and confidence. Transparency needs to be at the root of what we do every day. And so we will be ensuring the highest possible privacy standards and bring that level of transparency and accountability forward for Albertans. Introducing the data ethics framework and the privacy management framework is a huge step forward towards that future. But let me be perfectly clear. Here is my commitment to Albertans. Every service that we provide, every technology that we build, and every tool we deploy to modernize government service delivery will follow the principles in these frameworks. Make no mistake, your privacy is paramount. Albertans should have the strongest privacy protections in Canada. The privacy of Albertans is non-negotiable. And come hell or high water, I am here to protect it. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Are there questions from the floor? Operator, no, anyone on the call? All right, Minister. There are no questions on the line at this time. That's a wrap. Thank you very much.